This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Von Mar back here with another episode of uh, a Tales Innocence Plague Plague Tale A Plague Tales Innocence, man. It's gonna take me a while to get used to it. Just because of the weird wording. In the last episode we started our journey and uh, well, it seemed like fun times were gonna be had by all till our dog Leon was eaten by or killed by some something out there in the woods, so we ran back preparing for it, but it sounds like this might be something more worse than we imagined, so we gotta go get our brother, I think that's who we were supposed to get, and our mom and dad's gotta take care of it all. They'll take care of it, they're nobles, right? So, we don't have to worry about anything. You know, we're, uh, high, well, actually, I don't know how high up in the French hierarchy we are, so, uh, what's this? All these potions. Mother, will you ever be able to cure him? Hmm. Oh yeah, what is, I mean, what is, uh, Hugo's supposed to, your brother's supposed to have some issues, but I, I have no idea. I have no idea what issues he actually has. Could be something as simple as something we could cure today easily, but back then it's like, oh no, he's got the, he's got the farts. I don't know, sorry, I'm just, I don't think there's really anything else, because that just takes me out, so. Because we have to meet Hugo, so. Just, damn. It's locked. Well, I mean, she told us to lock the door, so, I mean, anyway, let's go meet our bro and uh, get, uh, keep him company while we uh, deal with whatever's going on. Shouldn't be anything too crazy. It's only the, it's only dark, oh, actually, it would be the Renaissance. I was about to say the Dark Ages, but now I think that this is much later than that. How long has he been here? Four years? Five? Are you talking about Hugo, your brother, or... Or someone else, or I'm not sure what you're talking about. Where is he? Hugo? Is he playing around? Come back here, you rapscallion. You, uh, you naughty boy, you. Hmm. Thinking probably, well, he was calling for mom, so probably just messing around. Oh, well, we found him, because the <laughs> prompt indicator said otherwise, so. Okay, I don't think there's anything else. I was just kind of seeing, oh, he even built a fort. Yeah, it looks like you wanted to play knights and all that, so sorry, dude. No time for that. It, it's me. Y your sister, Amicia. Hello. We, we haven't seen each other much. Mommy will be back soon. Boom! Come on! Did he talk? No, Lord Nicholas. He killed two of our men. Where is he? I won't ask again. Where is your son? In good hands. <laughs> Search the house. I wonder why they want I was just waiting for them to talk, so you go, Ah, the game's tutorial us. Shh. I know you're here, kid. I don't have time to play games. Ah, uh, creepy, uh, creepy. Where have they hidden him? Let's go. Now. Where's mommy? Shh. Where are they? Stay, Stay down. Hugo, it's me, Gabriel. Come here, quickly. Hey, you! What the hell are you doing? Let's go. Kid, huh? Leave him alone! Shut your mouth! He belongs to the Inquisition. But he's just you a child. Him over the child. He's not your mother's child. He's not your mother's child. Oh no! Leah! I don't know anything! Ah! There you go! That'll teach you! No! I'm begging you! Hugo's not here! And you! Come on! Make this very clear! Tell me, where is Hugo the Rune? Ah! Well, sorry for stepping on your body for protecting us, but it looks like. Looks like something's going down with the Inquisition. The Inquisition. Here we go. The Inquisition. What a show. What's going on? Mother, I have to 
find Mother. She'll... She'll know. Have we had any converts today? Not a one, sir. Nay, nay, nay. Oh, man, I haven't seen that movie in forever, and I still remember the song. Oh, my God. Louise. You think it's funny making me run like that? Uh, I miss you. guys killing all of them what's this about research and why do they need our brother specifically this is crazy i wonder what's going on i wonder what it has to do with anything about why i killed leon i don't know man this is they're just killing everyone like all these people we formed a rapport with and then they're just like it dead actually it's not like we spent that much time with them but you can tell it's a shock because basically these kids are like you know nobles in the countryside and all of a sudden the inquisition just comes in and just kills all the family Where do you think you're going? My children. What is happening? We will be all right, do you hear me? Come on. Hugo, take your sister's hand. I'll go first, and you just have to follow me, all right? We have to cross the gardens. Amicia, hold your brother's hand and follow me in silence, all right? Yes. Yes. Yeah, I'm not going to go that way. Sorry, Mom. Going our own way. YOLO! Oh, there's nothing else here. Okay. I was thinking there was going to be something hidden over here for collectibles. Yeah, I didn't know, didn't know Mom was a badass Metal Gear Solid snaking it over here. Just sneaking on up, hitting people with rocks. But, uh, yeah, it seems like this, you know, I almost thought when I first heard about this game, I thought it was like some, well, I don't know if I want to say anything for spoilers. I thought it was going to be kind of like a, um, what's the word, like a, like a weird twit, like more of a realistic telling of like this time period, like maybe something about, but then now I'm thinking it's got supernatural, like, Trust um, me. a supernatural like el us, element to it. To well, how do you say... Mommy! Shh. Uh -uh. All right, we've already done the whole. I don't know why I was thinking it's like, how do you crouch? It was like, I did take a, I did take a small break in between the recording the first and second episode. Usually, I record like, like a bunch of like the beginning episodes like back to back, like a lot of them. But uh, no, nah, just time and money. Who is it? The gardener knows the family well. Says he watched the kids grow up. Yes, the little one loves flowers. I used to take him some flowers. You can do better than that. Take him. Make sure he tells you everything he knows. Please, don't. Shut up. Move. Yeah, who, knew, who knew the? Who knew a noble lady would know what? Uh, how to stay hidden. Shh. Have a little think, and I'll come back later. And you, don't die without talking to me first. Oh, uh, the bastards. Cowards. Oh, stop. 
up. You're breaking my heart. We have to get no. through. If your master had just given us his son, I'll carry you. you All right. All right. But Robert Arun doesn't like the Inquisition, even though we got a noble cause. Go on. Go on. Slowly. Tell us be careful getting down. What are yes. It's just a boy and a bunch of peasants. How long can it take? Sorry, I'm not talking too much. I'm just letting the uh, dialogue play oh, out. God. I didn't want to talk yes, over yes. it. We have to get further away. If I can hit the helmets in the crates over there, your sling will give us away. I can throw it instead. To be still with your hold L1 to throw projectile. Projectiles by hand. Oh, instead of a... Uh... Oh, I didn't have it. Okay. I was like, I thought I had a... Oh. Oh, R2 to the right. That noise. Right, let's go. From over there. Huh. What was that noise? It looks like you used the diamond, like red, <gasps> like to indicate, like, Great, uh, Hugo, like I showed you. What's wrong with him? His illness has awoken. We need to go faster. To calm down. I'm hearing you, Mom. I'm hearing you. So, the boy is hiding, but Lord Nicholas is tracking him down. He's the Grand Inquisitor's right hand. The guard has never had a better captain. Good. At least he got the father. And soon he'll get the son. Mother, why? What do they want from him? I'll explain later. We have to get out of here first. I'm just trying to lead the ambiance in. I, I, unfortunately, that means if I'm going to let that happen, it's probably a good deal of the game's going to be me being quiet, which is probably a pleasure for some of you, so. Which is fine. I'm not really. Uh... I'm going to see. Come back alive. We need you here. There might not, there might not be no there might be no reason for me to uh, um, look around and explore really at this point in the game because of where we're at. Probably there's probably a difference between sneaking sections and free free roam sections. Delightful news. We can't go, mother. Maybe by throwing one of these pots. Really, the noise will attract him. We'll slip past behind his back. All right. Okay, so yeah, we've got the action action wheel or whatever to choose different uh, things, and then oh, okay. So if I throw it, then it'll highlight like who will be hearing it. Okay, that's that's interesting. Yeah, it's giving me all the tutorial and all that. So when we're prepared for the real game, we'll be ready to go. What was that noise? Yeah, come on, dude. Guard it up, yo. Oh, no, no, no. Stay calm. Hold my hand tight. Well, it was nothing. It's locked from the other side. Mother, the hole in the wall. Yes, Hugo. I'm sorry. I know you're scared, but if you get through there, you can open the door for us. You're the only one who can do it. What's behind that? Just concentrate on the door. You're a brave boy. You prove it to me every day. Amicia is going to let go of your hand. Then you can quickly go through. All right? All right. I should have been in execution now. All right, so gotta let go. Let's see. Press the task him to sneak in. Okay, there we go. Be strong. Hopefully he's not such a puss. I mean, well done. there are people. Hold my hand. Come on. So if you let the hand, the hand of the boy go, you know, without a direction, he'll get all, you know, um, all the uh, uh, anxiety attack or something. Hmm. God, these guys are just heinous. Then again, people would do this back in the day if they thought they were. You know, not with the church and all this other crazy crap. So it's so you know, as much as I'd like to think, oh, people wouldn't do this. Like, no, no, they would. I mean, follow me. Man, those look like fingers. <laughs> right, anyway, you okay, kid? Come on in. You just stay out there. About to open the door. Coming, Amicia. Oh. You have to help him next time. Sorry, no. I. My head. Oh, what is wrong with him? An attack. Listen to my voice, Hugo. You know how this goes. My eyes. My head. 
Listen to me. Breathe. Think of the cloud that you breathe in and blow out. In. Out. Like that slowly. Oh, Mother, we can't stay here. Give him a little time. And where'd you go? I... I think so. So, let's continue. Courage, my darling. You okay, bro? You can come. Sean! Yes. Sean! No, sorry, wrong game. <laughs> or was it Sean? Yeah, Sean! 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 I forgot. There, there's like a funny video online that you can find that, uh, that, um, um, that has like, there's a glitch in the game where he keeps repeating, like, uh, Sean and, and I think it's Heavy Rain or whatever. Uh, he just does it through all the cutscenes. It's pretty funny to to watch. I think it's like Heavy Rain Sean or something like that, and you'll get a Okay. Keep going now. It's too risky with Hugo. He's slower than us. There are bots over there. I could cross, make a diversion. Alone. Yes. You would have more time. Wait there. I'll be back soon. Uh -oh. I'll wait for you. If I uh, accidentally didn't crash. I might as well hit, see what the death animation is. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah, I accidentally didn't crouch. I was trying to figure out how to crouch. I had forgotten how to do that. <laughs> yeah, isn't that dumb of me? He's slower than us. There are bots over there. I could cross, make a diversion. Alone. Yes, you would have more time. Don't I have bots, though? Okay, so tell him to stay behind. Yeah, I'd forgotten how to crouch. Like I said, it had been a hot minute since I'd uh, played, so I forgot what the crouch button was. So, yeah. Oh, well. But yeah, it was interesting to see what the what the death animation... I assume certain par areas will have certain death animations. Like, there, we got knocked down and stabbed. So, you know. Yeah, I already have a pot. I don't know why I needed to do that. I guess it's just in case. I guess we're just trying to distract him, so... Because of how fast he is. Can we just go on ahead? <laughs> so long, suckers! Oh. You're with your mom. I think you're. I think. I think she's a better substitute than me when it comes to that. Don't you think? All right. Anyway. What? Uh, uh, how do I? Hold on. Again, I, I. I. I stood up without wanting to. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, well, let's see what happens when they get killed. <laughs> so we just quit out of we just quit out of uh, like out of a uh, oh what's the word out of like sadness or whatever. We're like, no. Anyway, right, let's, let's stop messing around. Actually, I mean we were making good progress, but you know. Wait, what? Oh, I forgot to press down. <laughs> What's wrong with me today? Can you just kill me already? Let's just do this again. All right, just just, just take me out. Take me out like a moron. <laughs> I forgot to press down, <laughs> even though the game just told me to do that. Yeah, this is definitely not not going very well for a for a playthrough when I'm uh, messing up over so many times in the second episode. I'm not even at the hard part. This is the tutorial, man. Man, dude, I've got this tutorial in the back, man. Anyway. Alright, so we need to distract him. How do we actually need to throw that thing? Aim well. And I guess Mother the arrow indicates where to the person's gonna see it, so like how like how far do we need to throw it, you know? Oh, did I see that's enough. I need to call them now. I guess it's far enough. Hurry up, you slow pokes. Come quickly. I already died in multiple storylines. Come on. Well done. Yeah, there you go. Alright, come on, Hugo. This way. Quit getting an anxious and uh, follow me. Big Sister Elise, or whatever her name is. Yeah, nothing to report. The Garden Gate. We should be able to get out of here. There's one god left. The Scarecrow. I used to practice firing at it. He will come this way. Yes, but we can wait until he goes away again. All right, leave this to me. So we're basically doing the whole bring him in, but then as the panel on it takes for him to go back to his post, we'll uh, we'll be able to uh, crawl from then or whatever you want to call it. What the hell was that? 
I'm surprised that with how old school this game's trying to go, like in terms of like feeling setting. I'm surprised they don't have them speak in French or older English or whatever. Although if they did that, we probably wouldn't even understand what the hell they were saying. Because if you've listened to old like old English and like the way they speak, it's it's pretty much a different language at that point. Like if you heard it, you'd be like, "What the hell are they talking about?" You're alive. This way. This way. Follow me. My darling. Go and hide quickly now. Madame, they are Amicia, here. You have to take your brother to Laurentius. The doctor? Yes. He helped me treat Hugo. He will look after you. And what about you? You, you do have not to come. need me, Amicia. You are. But I do need you. I need you. Hurry now! Follow the river! It will lead you to Laurentius! Mother, no! Well, if it didn't take me forever to do the first chapter, I think this would have been that would have been a good place to start, you know. Chapter two, the stranger. So, our parents are dead. Our families, our all of our household is dead. We're now on the run from the Inquisition for some reason. Our brother's got needs to be taken to some doctors. It must be pretty important to like for mom to stay behind, like a moron. Like that seemed pointless. Like all it did was just buy us a few more seconds of time to do that, you know, like. I don't know. It's it's one of those silly sacrifices where you're like, but you could have just come with us, probably could have died in a different spot, made it seem like you weren't an idiot. So, And I understand them not taking enough time to, like, mourn her because, I mean, you were being chased by dudes, so obviously you're going to have to, like, get to it. So, well, if anything, this game's got a mystery, so we got a, well, other than a drama and mystery. I don't know the village must be further on. Someone there should be able to help us find Laurentius. <laughs> Hugo. Hugo. Mommy won't be happy. When she finds out I fell in the water. Well, let's not mention it when we see her, all right? Come on. First, we have to get dry. Well, all right. We gotta find help. Uh, like, how big is this Inquisition, though? Are they pretty big force, or is this just some like secret group that we know nothing about? I guess we'll find out over the course of the game, but it just seems like, well, then again, I don't know much about, you know, religious organizations in France during this time period, so I don't know if that's 
something that was common. I probably should know. I did study history, but you know, general history, not like specific regions. Probably talked to French experts or something like that. Uh, one thing I gotta. So, why did they want to capture us? I don't know. I don't want to think about it right now. We'll ask Laurentius to take us to see Mummy and Daddy. Yes, of course. Uh, you are going to be disappointed, kid, when you find out the truth, but uh, best to not give him anxiety now because we need him to be in a clear head at the moment. One thing I really like about this game so far is the character designs. I like how they're, like, not all of them are perfect, and if you watch the cutscene, you can see, like, well, other than being dirty, but she had, like, marks on her and stuff like that, you know, just made it a bit more realistic than being, like, a porcelain doll. You know, kind of like how in movies where they're, like, a person supposedly got dirty or wet or whatever, but then when they go to the next scene, like, in the same scene, they look practically perfect everyone. looking. Like, no dirt or damage or, or wounds or anything. And you're like, really? Come on, guys. You know, it's supposed to be a visual medium. Well, I guess in games it's easier to do that, but... And I assume this is an exploration section of the game. So I assume the game has, like, two spots. There's probably, like, your sneaking sections, whether it be from the Inquisition or other... Or, and then there's the, uh, just the explore, run around part, you know, n not much you have to worry about. An amulet. Oh, Mummy gave me one once. Me too. Someone must have lost it. I think we can take it. It could be useful. That way we'll be protected. Hmm. Uh, let's take a look. A gift, huh? Amulets and talismans. Faced with the violence of the plague, fear and superstition pushes commoners to obtain or make lucky charms. Unscrupulous artisans make money by selling rings and necklaces made by any material high prices. Those improbable trinkets surrounded by superstition are supposed to protect people from evil! But, but yeah, I bet this section there's probably like not much we have to do. Might be some minor puzzling or something like that, but for the most part we just get to run around. Basically calm in between the major... Oh. Scary section of the game. Not or... now. But don't touch them. They're all rotten. But I'm hungry. How can you think of food right now? Yeah, look at all that. So I wonder if they well, they said something about the plague, so the plague must be a big deal around here. So that's probably why uh, why it is what it is. Um uh, is it the Black Death plague or is it just a general plague, like overall? I mean both can be bad, just you know, the Black Death is more well known, so we get to call it that. You know, transmitted by like rats and rodents and all that other fun stuff. Okay. I'm probably doing over over exploring, if you know what I mean. Like I'm probably going over the top for something that I probably a lot of this probably a lot of the hidden stuff's probably easy to figure out or find. Most of it seems to like highlight or have a triangle on it if I can click it. For the most part I've noticed, so Really, I just have to kind of generally see, like, what's going on. Hey, we can steal someone's horse. They're really big. They won't hurt you. What are those noises? Are they sick? They're just clearing their noses. Come on, we have to go. Hmm. Sounds like something a kid would think. Yeah, I don't know about this time period, but I know in the Wild West, if you stole someone's horse, it was basically, you basically someone kill, someone, killing someone's lifestyle, so you are basically put to death hanging for... Seal horses or cows and stuff like that. But I don't know if it was the same during this period. Smoke. There must be a lot of people. Or someone, anyway. Not necessarily a ton of people, just someone, anyway. But yeah, I like, I like a lot of the attention to detail in this game. Like, it's not perfect, but you can tell that they try to make their own style. And probably because of how basic the mechanics are and what you're required to do in this game they probably left them to do other things with the game like you know for design and all Excuse that excuse me so. please wait madam what's the matter with them they look scared afraid of the inquisition or the plague one of the two anyway is that where the I guess it's I guess it didn't really matter it just bug people's Oh yeah. Oh, I didn't even notice we could just knock on the doors and try to. Excuse me, I'm the daughter of Lord Robert Darun. We were attacked. We need help. Please, it's very cold. So we were a lord's daughter at some point. So, well, I guess it doesn't matter now. Now that they're all dead, we're basically homeless. Anybody there? I'm with my little brother. The Darun estate was attacked. Hello? I'm begging you, please, please help, help us. Door? We're wet and hungry. What on earth is going on? 
Yeah, people are afraid of probably either this Inquisition or they're afraid of the uh, the plague, and so they want to stay to themselves, probably. Is anyone there? We need help. No one is going to let us in. What's the matter with them? Talk about French hospitality, my ass. No, I don't. Fear is a strong, a strong uh, drug indeed. I should have just. Oh, okay. I think that door was available to be knocked on, but I think after you do it so many times, they they say, okay, we get the point that that we're not gonna, you know, open up for you guys because we're scared or freaking out, totally freaking out, man. All right, well, it looks like the worst has come to worst. Amicia and Hugo are on their own, and we've got to find a doctor, but no one's willing to help us. Will we be able to survive when the Inquisition find us, or something much worse? Find out next time in the next episode of A Plague's Tale, Innocence. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.